is a big landscape I want to smock. I want to add smudge. And here is the second one. And you see this Gaia tree, this texture that is left over from last year. So in this case, I'm going to smog the sky, the upper part, as it was last year. I see a holy grail over here. So maybe there will be some kind of relationship between the smog in the sky and the holy grail. And here is a texture of a black hole uh, created by the Sword of Mars. The Sword of Mars is a myth I created. The most powerful weapon in the galaxy, in the universe, creates a black hole and it was lost on the planet Earth and found by a beautiful woman in 2010. That happens to have it the same ass as my wife at the time. So that landscape, the sky is up there and this green, but I'm going to smoke over the green, not over the sky. And then I'm going to work continuously on this green, see what happens. You understand? So I'm going to use two sticks because it's quite a big area, okay? And I don't care about the smell, really. I just need to get a lot of fire going. The, I buy different smells to experiment which ones are more oily. And it seems like the freshness of the stick has the most importance for this specific purpose. The smoke distributes spontaneously. I don't have control over how this smoke goes. And this is the idea behind it, you understand? So I paint with the power of nature beyond my comprehension. So I make a decision to use this technique. I'm developing, I'm still developing it. You understand? Uh, this is a direction and art I'm creating called gravitationalism, and it has different technologies, visible, invisible, smoking technology, and the actual forces of gravity. So I'm climbing fuck under, and the shit drops on my face. That's how I burned my face last night with these little bits of uh, red hot falling on my face, okay? So I guess this is how they did it in caves, you know, those, those black and white drawings made with smoke or with charcoal. You can draw with smoke. First you smoke it and then you scrape it with a rock making white lines, you understand? So it works pretty good. It's fairly durable because it's carbon. It's very hard to wash off this black shit. You know, in Russian churches, I went to service on Saturday. <laughs> That's in my neighborhood, the new neighborhood I moved in. I have a Russian Orthodox Church, St. Nicholas. They love me. I know priest's wife for three years. And uh, I'm going to be going there to services. I'm going to be volunteering there. Now I'm volunteering at this uh, Pakistani church. The guy wants to bring Christianity to Pakistani neighborhood. Oh, fuck. If it's going to fall, it's going to hurt real bad. It's a 20-pound painting. You know, it has 20 layers <laughs> over the period. Of, you see all this? It's rice. These textures, it's goddamn rice. <laughs> Got attached 20 years ago. So I'm trying to keep a horizontal line here where the green is. But if it's not horizontal, it's not a big deal. It's a landscape, you understand? So some things don't have to be horizontal. Even the horizon doesn't have to be horizontal, to tell you the truth. Not every time horizon is horizontal if you know physical properties of the universe. And you need to know physical properties of the universe if you want to paint anything. Even your dreams, your fantasies, your ideas, they're based on visible world, right? First you see shit, then you dream about shit. If you dream abstract, like in triangles and squares, then you need a fucking lobotomy or brain transplantation. And uh, I don't know where to buy a new brain, man. But it's probably going to be cash or something.